Anyway, what's up, guys? So, uh, I've been on the phone all weekend long. <clears throat> and, uh, so... Those of you who saw the, uh, the quantum... Some of you saw my quantum syntax video. The quantum syntax video was my first conversation about these methods. Okay? So since they were the first conversation about these methods, I was obviously inexperienced in dealing and, and asking the right questions. I didn't have the right questions available because I didn't specifically know what to ask. You don't know if you're a third grader, you can't go to the 10th grade and ask the teacher questions because you just don't know what to ask. So now that I've done my research and I've talked to my f judge friend, okay, I've now become a student uh, of the quantum syntax language. And now that I've become a student, he's taught me a lot of things. The reason why we have to follow the government rules and all this other stuff is because we have not published our own knowledge. So since we have not... Sorry, I know you guys are getting seasick. I heard some comments about that earlier. I don't know how to hold the goddamn camera. Anyway, so... Whatever. Since... Since we have not published our knowledge, all we know is what we've been in school. Anything we've ever learned in our entire life has been by somebody else's teaching. We've never actually did something. Everything we know, I don't give a shit if you're some uh, CEO of a business. If you have not invented something, if you have not invented a system, if you have not... If you have not done something to such a degree that you've learned on your own then you're not knowledgeable well since you're not knowledgeable you have to be governed because you're not smart enough to govern yourself okay so this is why we have government and kudos to them kudos to them for creating a system of beauty their system is beautiful oh I love it I love it Okay? Because it's brilliant here. What other system can create a mass population of slaves without you realizing you're a fucking slave? <laughs> it's amazing. I mean, God, it's, it's genius. All you people go to church. All of you people gladly pay your taxes. All of your people... I mean, it's, the, it's a mass, mass amount of pure slavery so how do you come out of it you have to publish what you know how do you publish what you know you send yourself a letter you send yourself a letter syntaxed and uh, I guess you could call it call it um, well just call it syntax you publish what you know via your claimant of live life. That's telling anybody, that's telling any human, not just government officials, any human, obviously, any human means anybody. What you're doing is you're telling any human that you now know your spirit person, your spirit. You're not just the body. This goes past religion. Fuck what you know, excuse me. Forget what you've ever learned about religion. It doesn't mean anything. There's 9 billion religions on the planet, and everybody thinks theirs is the right one. It's retarded. It's insane. So, the reality is, is all the religions believe that they have a soul. Oh, okay, good. So, oh, stand by. Oh, look at that. The judge is calling me right now. Hold on a second. Oh, 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 shit. I fucked that up. Excuse me. I'm going to call him back right now. Hold on. So I'm going to call him back. I'm going to get him on the phone and we're going to have a conversation. Here. What? Oh, nothing. Hold on a second, you guys. This is going to be great. Perfect timing. Hey, Judge. Hey, Judge. How are you? I'm well. How are you? Good, good. Uh, it's not a bad time, is it? Oh, okay, good, good. 
Um, well, I watched uh, uh, a lot uh, of David's videos, and I've been going in. Um, I was remembering some of our conversation, and, you know, there's a lot of stuff you said that I, I wasn't familiar with. And uh, you know how it is. When you're not familiar with something, you just it's hard to understand. But I was going through the videos and his website and everything, and I started coming across the things that you were saying about the post office and how the post office, the post office is what rules the world. And like you said, if you look in Black's Law Dictionary, look up judges, you'll see, look up postmaster general, look up postmaster general, you said see judges, so on, so on and so forth. So, um, now, uh, just, just for, for my knowledge, I wanted to maybe pick your brain for a little bit if I could. Okay, what is it that a person should know when entering this system. I mean, we're talking going past the past the Freeman theory because Janet Reno made that up in what ninety five or ninety six. Strong and stuff, yeah. I don't remember when it was. I don't remember. I honestly don't. Okay. Um. So that. So this whole thing, it, it's made to simply just divide Americans, correct? <sighs> no. It's bigger than that. It's to create a slave colony planet Earth. There's only masters and slaves. Okay. Okay. Wow. And the reason, so the reason they've been successful is because no one's ever gone ahead and created for themselves um, the published knowledge of their own system, correct? What is the reason it was able to be done is because it was started with a lie. And the way that you get people to perpetuate a lie is they have to participate in that lie and not know that they're doing so. So the way to do that is to destroy the one mechanism that we use to communicate, which is called language. So if you destroy the language, people can't ever make a claim. You destroy the money, meaning it's not gold and silver. Then they can't buy into the contract. All, con all con Anything that you ever buy... Or, um, to look at it generically, if you buy a shirt, you have to exchange a value for the value. The shirt is the value to you, so you give the merchant your, your coin or your money to him for the exchange for the value of the value. What everybody's doing right now is that <clears throat> they're using the treasury debt notes, it, and it tells you right on your money, treasury debt note. Well, if it's, if it's, if it's a debt note, then it's not money, is it? Right. You're, what you do, what people are doing is they're participating in an act of commerce for exchanging a no value for a value, and that's commercial dishonor. Okay, so commercial dishonor. So what we've had, what we have is we have a system. We have a complete America. Then is a completely dishonorable system. That's why we killed all the Indians, and that's why we were incorporated in 1914, I believe. Yeah, I don't know the date, but do you remember you have to look at the language that you use. Nine out of ten words that we use create a negative. We can't perform it. Can't perform a negative. Incorporated, incorporation, incorporated is a past time. I and me no for no corporation past time. Okay, so um, from your knowledge with the correct language, what exactly is America? It, are we a country or are we a corporation or what? I mean. Okay, so we are a corporation and we're not a country. And we've been, we, and us, us humans, have been collateralized via debt, right? Well, not just debt, but, but, have, been, but have been put in a position of, I mean, it's not a good word to use, but indentured servitude. Okay. Right. I, I mean, please, please correct my language, because you know I, I know nothing of this. <laughs> so. Yeah, 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 no, no, no. I'm just. You're coming from a position of the words that you use every day. I'm coming from a position of knowing what you're actually saying and not what you're actually meaning. Right. So how does one go about learning the correct way to talk, much less the correct way to live? <laughs> it's just... Okay. Okay, well, the, the fact of the matter is that there's no contract between you and I right now talking over the phone. We are just two people getting together talking about life. Right. I have an oath on paper. I'm different in, from your position in that on paper I have a claim that says I'm going to teach correctness, that I'm going to teach facts. So I have an oath that says I can't lie to you about this stuff. I, if you ask me the question, I have to give you the answer. And most answers are on a need-to-know basis. You're a student right now and wanting to learn these things on how to conduct yourself in your in the voyage of your life, which I will give you those answers. So, that's what I do. So, but as far as getting back to what your original thing was, your original thing was, like, how do you talk to each other correctly? Well, the fact of the matter is, we're not in a 
contract to do so. What we, what we are is we're exchanging information and you're weighing it against the experience of your life and the knowledge base that you have and I'm weighing against the experience of my life and the knowledge base that I have. So this, con- this correct sentence starts with communication parse syntax grammar is not created, something that's created that we need to speak. It is only something created that we use when we contract so we can enforce the values of our claims. Okay, and then in order to make a proper claim, I have to know, okay, I get it. So this is going full circle again, is in order to make a proper claim, i.e., or, okay, so in order to make a proper claim, I have to know how to speak the proper language. No, it only needs to be written. Remember, contract, the reason that we enter into contracts, and this is what a lot of people don't get, if you and I enter into contract, why am I entering the contract? Am I entering the contract because I don't trust you? No. I'm going to enter the contract because I don't trust me. It's me who has to worry about whether I honor my contract or not. I don't have to worry about you honoring it or not because there's going to be stipulations in there that can force your performance for the contract that you agreed to. Hmm, okay. Okay, so uh, can I give you a rundown scenario? Let's say I buy a house. I buy a house in my, my 30s, and then I come to a conclusion that I meet you, and all of a sudden my life gets flipped upside down. Um, h- how do I go about living my life now in the correct way? Well, what, is, what, you're, what you're talking about is you're, because essentially there's two systems. There's a fiction system and a fact system. Mm-hmm. Fact system is where these are the camp that you want to live in. That's what you're saying. And you can do that. But you're going to have to run parallel with fiction because there is a fiction in world out there to which you're going to put your little blue chip stamp in to, to, to navigate it. Right. So as long as we're always running parallel with fiction, we can stay in fact. But what, right. what, what happens when the fiction... Okay, so... This is what the Title 42 was about, is when the fiction tries to um, extort money from us via some speeding ticket or something like that, or a falsified contract, that's when we do the Title 42, and then we become the offensive? You become a claimant. A claimant. Okay, I, I'm starting to learn that those uh, vowel and two consonant words are probably not what you should say. <laughs> okay, I, I appreciate this. <laughs> yeah, I do. I, I really appreciate it. So, can I meet with you this Thursday for lunch? Yeah, not a problem. Okay, um, sure. Uh, I would love that, actually. I will uh, just text. Can you, can you, do you have text messaging? Yes, on my phone, I do. Um, what you, like, if you want to pry on it around noon or something like that, all you need to do is just text me and let you know. See, you, I don't know if you've been to Iowa before. I'm guessing you have. Yeah. Okay, just go into the center of town or over by the Shell Station, and I'll meet you. It'll take me two to get there. Sounds sounds wonderful, Judge. I really appreciate your time, and um, I I should probably bring a, a camera and uh, some microphones and maybe a news station. <laughs> <laughs> Tape recorder. Yeah. Yes. Tape recorder is what you want because we're going to be downloading a bunch of information. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So this is this is brilliant. I mean, I'm sure you know of a way that actually is going to help my brain download information just like a computer. Well, that's part of my well, that's part of my job is to talk to people and see the way they think, and then I speak to you in a way that you think. Right. That that's brilliant. I mean, uh, I I see I see how this is evolving just from uh, what four days or three days ago since the last time we talked. It, it's it's a completely different world. I mean. I sat on the couch, you know, just with my jaw dropped. It, it, I mean, you feel like you're in the middle of the ocean and the wind just stopped and this wind just gets cut out of your sails, and man, and you're like, oh, you know, because the, the free man thing, it gives you so pumped up, you know, it gets you so emotionally involved and, oh, I'm going to be a free man and all of a sudden you're now Mel Gibson and Braveheart, you know, leading the charge and... 
then all of a sudden you find this out and you're like, oh shit, this. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, so when you do interact with a police officer, uh, the best thing to do is just to be calm and give them everything they need. They're checking to see if you have your credentials to be doing what you're doing. And if they pulled you over, run in your mind, did you perform public safety error? If you did, suck it up. If you didn't, well, that's different. Okay. Um, let, well, let, if it's somebody, say somebody isn't guilty, you know, we see a lot of cases all the time where um, there's cases where real, you know, real people that are innocent get put in jail for something that they did not do for a long time. How do, how do you go about that if you don't know, you know, or say, say you are in, in, of this system of the quantum fact correctness, how do you go about that if you really are innocent? They elect okay. So they they contracted themselves to be in jail. Yes. Yes, you got it. They contracted for fiction, so fiction gave them their fiction. So so the whole I do not consent argument is still invalid. No, that's not true. You okay. have to consent to to being in fiction. That's why the judge that's what they're doing. Judge is going through three or forty different steps in his brain to find out if you're consenting or not. Okay. Because he can even be there. One way of consenting is the fact that you showed up to the fiction court. Another way of consenting is by saying, you know, is your name Monty Edwin Mueller? And you say yes. You just told the judge that you're an adjective, adjective pronoun. You don't know who you are, where you are, and when you are. You are out of time and space. You are an empty vessel, and I'm going into maritime law. I'm going to salvage your butt and steal all your stuff through harvest. Okay, so should I show up to court then in October 12th? Yes, yes, because, yes, absolutely. Because you're bonded. Oh, I'm bonded. Oh, you're right, because they, shit. Right. <sighs> That's why I'm telling you, if there's no jail time involved in this, in this BS, get the little hand slap out of the way, get it, get it done, balance out the books, and go after them for taking the money with fraud. Okay, I just want to make sure we can repeat that. Once you are done with your traffic ticket or anything else, you can go after them for fraud. So that yes, because they did everything. The paperwork that they the paperwork that they put you on, the paperwork that the judge signed, the paperwork that the district attorney signed, all this BS, that's all fiction. And they use that fiction to extort money. Anything over twenty dollars taken taken from you through a fraud is titled eighteen thirteen uh thirteen forty one uh, thank you for... Okay, what is the statute of limitations on this? Because in 2008, I had a house taken away from me. I went through the whole housing boom, and, you know, I ended up losing my job and all of this stuff, and I ended up, I, house. you know, I just had a house taken away in 08. Out of foreclosure? Yep. Yeah, you can still, you, can, you still have to be a trust. You can still go after it. The, um, I don't recall if I ever talked to you about the bankruptcy, the bankruptcy moratoriums, I don't recall. So domestic bankruptcy is seven years, international bankruptcy is seventy years. Right. The change from the the the, the Y2KBS scare that they had everybody under was an illusion to keep everybody away from the 
in 2000, September 17, 1999, is when it actually happened. There was a bankruptcy moratorium. So you can claim your position on your house back to the year 2000, February 2nd, 2000, to the time you were kicked out. Wow, that's brilliant. That is so brilliant. I'll be able to have my house back. Well, you, well it's not that you think we're not, not, we're not protecting the house. We're only going after the fraud in the language. The only thing you can talk about is the language. You can't okay. talk about anything else. Okay, okay. So, um, my position, or, or my, yeah, my position, then, if I'm not getting the house back, I would be just getting the damages from those events? The damages from them fraudulently conveying a document written in an adverb verb taking money. Okay, then I would, I would be able to get all the money I put into the house back. That's wonderful. You're saying that I had house payments that I should be reimbursed for, then you're talking about the contract and making that bitch in the back. Okay, okay. I, I completely understand what you're saying. I don't want to go that route. I want to go my route of fact with the caretaker position. The, care, the caretaker position and the whistleblower position. Okay, perfect. All right, um, uh, thank you all. I'll let you enjoy the rest of your night. Sorry for calling so late. All right, thanks, Judge. I'll see you Thursday at noon. Okay, talk to you. All right, bye. Thanks. Ladies and gentlemen, well, I don't know what else I can say. I'm extremely happy. I'm getting paid, and I'm, I'm going through with this with every ounce of my heart and soul, and I'm not stopping. And any of you who actually truly know me know... They, you know. You just know. And uh, uh, I'm going to try to, or I'm going to do what I can to make sure everybody comes out of this fiction, false reality. Not only here in the world that you live in, but here. You have to come out of this false, deluded, mental bullshit that exists in your mind. You need to understand where your thoughts, emotions, and actions come from. You need to understand this thing called the pineal gland. You need to understand your own system. Because when you understand your own system, you'll come out of the system. And then, you'll start to understand how to learn. When you understand how to learn, you'll understand how to teach yourself through meditation and other ways. And we'll start to trickle and humanity will start to be free. I have, I have a mission just to free humanity. That's it. Roz, my brother, I love you. He's freeing humanity from the heavens. He's doing astral stuff that, who knows? Okay. I I had an astral. I had an OBE last night, and it was the craziest time of my life. I was only rolling around in my own bed. It was nuts. But that's another story. For now, just take what that, take what you can from that, and keep moving forward. Don't waste your time watching TV or getting caught up in sports or selfish, stupid, egoic pleasures. Okay? Don't be doing, just don't do stupid shit. Alright? I love you guys. Bye.